Hello everybody, I'm here to present a macro in Excel that allows to solve a hyperstatic beam with n spans. It can be used in a lot of cases with fixed support with different value of distributed loads, concentrated force and concentrated moments in each span as many as you want. I've searched in the web but I haven't found anything so complete but just macros that solve specific cases. Now I am going to make some easy examples in order to check the results with the solutions that you can find written in every book. To help you with the check, I wrote the formulas and the results in a new page for every single example I'm going to do. Let's run this macro so you can understand what I'm talking about. First of all, we have to delete the previous data in order to avoid that they could be wrongly inserted in the new exercise. I'm going to try with an important case a beam with single span fixed at both ends. In the first screen we insert the number of the spans, in this case 1. Let's tick the case for fixed support on left and right. For the length I put 8 meters and for the distributed load 4 kN per meters. From here you can insert the value for EJ, concentrated forces and moments, but I am going to explain later those cases with an example. Just wait for a few seconds for the results. Now it asks us if we want to calculate the displacement. Let's click on Yes button just to see what happens knowing that we didn't insert any value for EJ. Let's have a look to the summary and check the results with the formulas. Reaction is 16 kN in both ends. As you can see here, we have the same values. For the bending moment, the value of the fixed supports is minus 21.33 kN-m. And here we have the same value. The maximum moment calculated with the formula is 10.66. We have also that the moment is zero at the length of 1.68 meters. Let's find those values in the diagrams. The values are written for steps of 5 cm. From this sheet, we can have the value of bending moment and share in every point. The maximum moment is 10.66 and its position is in the middle of the beam. The moment is zero between those two values. The results are the same with the ones calculated with the formulas. Let me expand the diagrams to give a quick look. I think that the diagrams are clear and there is nothing to add. And finally, we give a look also at the diagram of displacement, remembering that we didn't give any value for EJ, so the program gave 1000 as default value. In the middle of the beam, the displacement is 42.67 mm. In this case, you can see that at the fixed support we have the changing of bending. The value calculated with the formulas is the same. Let's try with another example. Case of a beam with two spans but with different length and different distributed load. The length of the first span is 8 meters. As distributed load, 3 kN per meter. The length of the second span is 10 meters, as distributed load 6 kN per meter. In the first support, the reaction is 5.46 kN, which is equal with the one calculated with the formulas. In the second one, the reaction is 53.78 kN and the moment is minus 52.33 kN meter. Again, the same values. In the last one, the reaction is 24.77 kN. And also, this value is correct. The maximum bending moment in the first span is 4.96 kN. The maximum bending moment in the first span is 4.96 kN. 
And now let's find his value in the diagram of bending moment. Here is the value and it is positioned at a distance of 1.8 meters from the left support. Also, this value is correct. The maximum bending moment in the second span is 51.11 kNm. The maximum bending moment in the second span is 51.11 kNm. And also now I am looking for his position. Here it is the value and it is positioned at the distance of 5.85 meters from the left support or 13.85 meters from the beginning of the beam. Just give a quick look to the diagrams. Also in this case everything seems quite clear. The only thing should be mentioned is that in the support we added one more value that allows us to consider the discontinuity at the left and the right of the support. The same thing happens when we have a concentrated force or moment. Let's try another example. The case of a single beam with fixed support at the left end and just support at the right end and a concentrated force at a distance of 3 meters from the left end. As length of the beam 10 meters. Now let's take the case with a concentrated force. As concentrated force 5 kN at 3 meters from the left end. Here we have the same mask because the macro allows to insert and concentrated forces in every single span. In our example we don't have other forces so, as suggested by the macro, we continue by clicking on continue button to exit from the mask of the forces. The reaction on the fixed support is 4.39 kN. And as always, we check those values with the formulas that I wrote before. Here it is the formula and the solution in this case. The reaction on the right support is 0.61 kN, which is correct. And the moment at the fixed support is minus 8.93. The maximum bending moment is 4.25 and also in this case the results are the same with the ones calculated with formulas. Now let's check the value for the displacement. We didn't give any value for EJ so the program gives 1000 as default value. The displacement in the position of the force, which is 3 meters from the left end, is 20.39 millimeters and it's equal with the one calculated with the formulas. In this case, you can see that at the fixed support, we have the changing of bending, and it doesn't happen in the right end, where we have just a simple support. Let's see also the diagram of bending moment and shear, but it's quite easy to understand. The only things should be mentioned is that at the position of the force there is a double point for considering the discontinuity between the left and the right of the application point. I'm going to solve as last example this exercise that I found on the web so at the end we can check the results. We see that there is a cantilever beam. We can cut it and put its force and moment. The force is 7.5 kN and the moment is minus 5.625 kN. Both of them positioned at the distance of 0 meters from the support. In the first screen we insert the number of the spans, in this case 3. We insert the value of the length and the value of the distributed load which are, in this case, 4 meters and 5 kN per meter. As you can see, it tells you also which span we are considering. Let's check the case with the concentrated force because we cut the cantilever beam, so we have to insert its value, which is 7.5 kN, at a distance of 0 meters from the left support. As suggested by the macro, we continue by clicking on continue button to exit from the mask of the forces. 
We are back in the previous mask and now, for the same reason, let's stick in the case with the concentrated moment. We insert the value of the moment as minus 5.625 kNm with a distance of 0 m from the left support. Here we have the same thing, so we continue because we don't have another concentrated moment. Let's go to the second span. The length is 5 meters and the distributed load is 5 kN per meter. Let's go to the third span. The length is 6 meters and the distributed load is 5 kN per meter. Wait a moment to have the results. Here there are the results. As we can see, there are the values of reaction on the support and let's check if they are correct. At the first support, the value of the reaction is 17.17 kN, which is equal to 7.5 plus 9.67 of the example. For the other support, the value of the reactions are At the second support, 20.65 kN, which is equal to 10.33 plus 10.33 of the example. At the third support, 32.64 kN, which is equal to 14.67 plus 17.96 of the example. At the last support, the value of the reaction is 12.03 kN, which is equal to the value of the example. Also, the moments in the supports are equal, minus 6.93 in the second one, minus 6.94 from the example, minus 17.8 in the third one, minus 17.8 from the example. Let's have a look to the diagrams. The two diagrams are the same with the ones of the exercise. The only thing missing is the cantilever beam, but the moment in the support is the same. I think that the results explain what the program can do. What else? It's a light program which works with Excel, so you don't have to download other programs. It is useful to solve a lot of cases and in few seconds it helps you with complex problems. It's easy to use and very clear. It gives you a lot of information. It can be used by students and professionals for having a quick answer to their problems. Before greeting you, you'll find the link where you can download this program at the end of the video. Thanks for your attention. Bye and see you soon.